Paul Maskey, we're standing in front of Workman's Avenue here today. Um, what's your view on what's going to happen and unfold in the next few minutes? Well, I hopefully um, that it goes over um, peacefully. But I have to say, this is the first time these gates are going to be open from they walked out this gate last this time last year, and I think it's absolutely disgraceful. I mean, this area has it's an interface, um, but it could be worked out much better. Um, we have asked the Loyal Orange um, orders not to be coming out here because this is a predominantly nationalist area. There's no need for them to be coming out here. Um, well, there's nothing else but a, a show of strength on their behalf, and I think it's absolutely disgusting. It's quite clear that the residents who live around here, who they have to be given tremendous credit for, because they live through here every single day of, their, of the year, and yet they are put under severe pressure by these orange orders coming out here. And I would have to say is that they shouldn't be coming out this gate one day a year. Doesn't matter; these gates are never open because this is a, um, I suppose, a peace wall and it's a fate of community where we are at the moment. And they shouldn't be coming out here because the people that's very clearly don't want them. A further ratcheting up of temperature this morning with the uh, feeder parade uh, coming down the side of New Barnsley. What's your view of that? Well, as I said, not only now are they, are they supposed to plan every year to come out this gate, but they've also put uh, a feeder parade this year for the first, so they're ratcheting up, the, I suppose, the temperature here, and I totally disagree with that. Again, it's something that the, I suppose the, the unionist politicians need to get their act together and talk to these orange orders to say enough is enough. Stop raising the tensions within these areas because we've seen in recent times the short strand um, this week where tensions are very high in this city and I would urge loyalists and unionist politicians to come together speak to the orange orders and also speak to the residents of these areas because it's quite clear is that it's not needed, it's not wanted and it's only adding to the tensions in this community. Leadership of unions and my message would be we need to sit down and they need to recognise their political responsibilities in terms of delivering resolutions to these contentious periods. Um, these committees shouldn't have to suffer this year and year out. Right? We manage the situation, but all we're doing is managing it. We need a resolution. And the sooner that uh, that resolution is delivered, the better for everyone who lives in these areas. But we can't do it on our own. We offered a five point plan, which basically asked for the full parade to go through magazine. For us, I think that was a very generous offer from local residents. So they need to reciprocate and get real. And not only in terms of sprinkling, but in other contentious areas like Ardoin, East Belfast, etc. Because we've seen what unfolded last week in, Belf in East Belfast, you know, the, the height of sectarianism. And other generations going to get sucked into this type of, uh, these type of conflicts, etc. And that's, that's totally unacceptable. I know you spent an awful lot of time in the short strand this week. What's your hope for this evening? My hope, again, is that it will remain peaceful. Um, I have to applaud young people in the short strand. I think they've been magnificent. Uh, in the context of what happened last Monday, I think that we've shown great sort of resolution and, and listened to the stewards on the ground in terms of, you know, staying back and keeping away and not being involved in any sort of uh, riotous situations, despite the severe provocation of last Monday. Is there any sense of political unionism is engaging with loyalism to try to prevent these sorts of events? Well, one, one can only hope. Hopefully this is a, a wake-up call uh, to political unionism, to, for them to recognise their responsibilities. It's also a wake-up call to loyalists, especially UVF, because I think it's important to point out the UDA were not involved in that scenario, and the Europeans tell Republicans they're not involved, etc. So, you know, people need to recognise that this situation is no longer tolerable. You know, that we need to deliver these resolutions for everyone. And I've heard people from the unionist community demand resolutions as well. And they don't want a scenario where their kids have been brought up and you know, with sectarianism rampant and people's homes been destroyed. It's totally honest.